Hi YouTube, how you doing? And in today's tutorial, we're gonna look at how to export data from SQL Server into Excel. I'm gonna cover three ways how to do this. One of those, I'm gonna use the import and export wizard, which comes with SQL Server. Another way, the last one, you probably already know how to do. But if there's any other ways that you know of, then let me know, because I'm sure you can use PowerShell, you can use all sorts of things. But these are just nice, quick, easy ways how to do it. So if you like the video, hit like for me. If you want to see more of it, hit subscribe. And as with all my videos, if you look in the timeline, it's broken up into each section, so you can just jump to whichever one you want to look at rather than watch the whole video. So I hope you get something out of it. Enjoy. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to use the import and export wizard in SQL Server. So obviously we have my server here. I'm going to expand this, I'm going to use Arc Music and I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to Tasks and go right down here and you've guessed it, Export. And over here, it's come up in the other window. I'm going to click through this and this is asking me the source of what I want to export. So I'm going to choose SQL Server Native Client. Then I'm going to choose Arc Music. I'm going to use Windows Authentication here because got full admin rights and it's going to be a lot easier and then where do I want it to go to in this case I mean there's so many places you can export to with this but here we want to go to Microsoft Excel I'm going to leave it as 97 to 2003 although in reality you can you can change it to whatever you want and I'm going to browse to my C drive my SQL Server folder and I'm going to call it import export. Click through this. I'm going to leave it as this. And I'm going to export the TBL products table. Have a look at my mappings. This is correct. I want to export all of these. And then I can preview that just to see what's coming out. And we can see we've got 51 rows down here, which is exactly what we want. And what this is showing us is potential errors. So on error, we could fail it. I'm just going to ignore it. And on truncation, because I'm pretty confident there's no truncations. And even if there is, I'm not too fussed. And I can do the same down here for one. And I'm clicking X through this. I'm going to run it immediately. This is confirming exactly what I want to do. I'm going to finish that. And 50 rows have transferred. So I'm going to close this. Let's have a look in that folder. And we've got the import export. And here it is. And what I can do, you can make it all fancy. Format is a nice table, so it's got headers. And there you go, you can. I can change it to whatever you want. So that is how you export data from Excel using the import export wizard. Next up, I'm gonna do results to file. So I've got our community open here. Select new query and I'm going to do select star from TBO products. This is the one we did before with the import export wizard. And we can see it's got 51 results. Now, just here, if you hover over my mouse there, it's got results to file. And the other way we can do that is we can right click here and do results to file. So I'll select that this time. As I said, alternatively, alternatively, you can click here. And then the next time I execute this, it's gonna prompt me whereabouts I want to export it to. So it's not gonna show me down here. I'll run that. And so where do I wanna go? I'm gonna go C drive, SQL server. I'm gonna call it results to. And it's gonna save it, if you notice, as an RPT file. So I'm gonna save that. 
come down here. Now, if I open this with Notepad, you can see here is my export. It's quite a quick way, it's a quick, it's a handy way if you just want to export a small amount. If you're exporting hundreds of thousands of rows, I probably wouldn't use this way. I'd use the import export wizard. I'll close this, and that is how we export using results to file. Now the third way, let's close this. Don't want to commit those transactions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the same query again, select stuff from TBO products, hit F5, and this time I'm going to select all of that and I'm going to save results as. I'm going to save it as a CSV, and I'm going to save it in exactly the same place I have been, and I'm going to call this save results as. Open the folder. Here it is here, it probably tell me that it's incorrect format. No, it's all okay. It hasn't got headers. I mean, if you wanted to use headers, copy with headers, paste it in here. And there you have it. There's four ways there. I thought everyone knows this one. And those are the ways you can export from SQL Server into Excel or any way you want really, export into file. If you've got any questions, let me know below. If you've got any other suggestions or any other ways you can export, let me know below in the comments. Thank you.